What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Bunny, and welcome to a video we all knew was going to happen eventually. The crisis with four times her thermite. Massive trolling action with a weapon that doesn't need line of sight and that has such a punch <laughs> that you can often one-hit kill enemies. And we used to do this with a Typhon, for example, with four Vortex, but I hate four thermites are cooler. <laughs> so let's do this, ladies and gents. There is, you see, you see as two th Typhon robots coming up, but the Crisis robot has the ability to bypass shields, and that allows us to actually kill a Typhon robot very effectively with it. I just have to, you know, activate the ability and fire, and BOOM! One hit kill, and the Typhon says bye-bye. Back to the hangar with you, sir, uh, or into your next robot, rather. Bam! Doing this again. This guy, has, he's got a uh, last stand. That's why he's not dead yet. Otherwise, he would be too. So, dude, we're just basically killing these two Typhons as it was nothing, nothing, because we have, uh, we have the, um, the cover to shoot from. And here he was trying to heal back up, and he was having his shield, but hey, the Crisis robot goes right through and eliminates him. Meanwhile, my team seems to have arrived next to me as well, uh, and it's uh, Team Deathmatch. We're in the lead, but uh, yeah, spoiler alert, somebody is going to uh, hack in the enemy team very soon, and you're going to see that in a sec, and I'm going to try and kill the hacker. Look, fire at the scorpion, boom, 60% damage, and then the scorpion teleported over here and gets killed really quickly, because that damage uh, is something we definitely notice on his hit point, hit point bar. Now, next guys, where are they? Where are they? Aha! Here's one. It's something with a yellow shield. Again, I don't really care about the shield. Uh, this guy, perhaps. Uh, okay, let's get him. Yeah, boots! I don't know, that was overkill. I could have done so much more damage than this, but hey. Um, a kill is a kill, right? In Team Deathmatch. Here comes an enemy Titan. His reflector was there. Pats! There goes the Titan. Uh, I don't know, he got down so quick. Not sure why. Here's an enemy Crisis robot with, his, with a shield. Or it's an Erebus. Maybe it's an Erebus? I'm not sure what exactly it is. It could be either one of these. But again, energy shield. Doesn't matter. Activating the ability. Pop, 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 pop. And boom, 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 boom. Whoa! Nice. And uh, here comes the hacker. I could already tell by the way he's moving. He didn't even look at me. Just walked by and I died. Um, and then you see here on the map, everywhere he walks, everything just dies right there. On the spot. And I was like, hmm. Okay, that's a hacker now. Uh, can I kill him? Maybe, you know? Maybe he only has one, one Hellburner, because these hacks require a weapon uh, or something like a Hellburner or a Shell Robot, something that explodes around them, right? So I decided to drop my 2 million HP Rook Titan, stay a little bit at range, and try to get him, right? That's what I'm trying to do. So, because I hope that once I get this... Hellburner, he may have just normal robots afterwards, of course he can still hack with them, but at least he won't have an exploding ability that just simply instantly kills everything around him. Because you can you can follow and track here where he's moving, moving, everywhere he goes, people simply instantly die, right next to him. So look at his fury, and there goes the fury. And I was like, okay, now he's even got face shift. I don't know why a hacker would need face shift, but he's coming straight at me, and yes! I was able to drop the hacker, man. Eat that, hacking son of a gun. Uh, and I was like, yes, okay, cool, now nah, got this guy. Now we can get back to playing. Um, but it seems like this guy's pretty content with his hacking. He, uh, he's actually made a hacking hangar. He's now coming in with the next exploding robot, which is a shell. And I can tell the shell was not in the default test server config. This guy literally spent time making a hangar that he can most effectively hack with and just instantly kill everybody. So again, I'm coming in, I waited for the right opportunity and drop him right through his last stand and his entire shell robot. Boom. Getcha. Suck on this, hacker. Um, and uh, you know what he spawns next? Another hell burner. Spoiler. We lost the match. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's hop into the next gameplay situation here. Uh, and uh, an Erebus. Ooh. <laughs> I like Erebus because they have so small amount of HP. Uh, and when I shield break them, they're like, they die near instantly. So I'm getting in a position where I'm stealthed now. Crisis robot, always stealth unless you fire. Uh, not a good idea, by the way. Um, and now I'm activating the shield break, activating the uh, unstable thingy-bingy that deals my damage increase. And then look at the damage he took. By the way, 
just to make that aware make you aware of it he just died he just died and then he was saved by his reviver drone that pam instantly restores his hp to 60 percent he was to zero hp that was a one hit kill and then he got restored to 60 percent because of the drone just in case you missed it right uh, so that was in fact a one-hit kill um, But uh, yeah, he leaves me he gives me another chance to do some extra damage. So pop 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 uh, And there we go nice. Um, I love it. I love these weapons man This is just my style of play trolling thermite vortex dude. This is just perfect pop 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 This guy also had the instant 60% fix so I did 30% plus the 60% he got from dying <laughs> And he dies anyways. The firepower is nuts from four thermites. Ladies and gentlemen, please just let us enjoy this together and also ask Pixonic to perhaps uh, add better tracking abilities to thermite vortex and aphid because they really need it. And I think they should have splash damage too. Those are big rockets. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. He also had the instant HP re is restore and he still died 100%. So I did like 160% damage to him. This is how much damage a titan takes. Boof. 30% man on an on an aether titan. That is not bad. Now I thought maybe this guy doesn't know I'm firing at him. Unfortunately, he was 100% ready for it. Um, and uh, yeah, he dropped uh, the ability. But he's gonna land there and I'm gonna try and use that to my advantage. Shield break and fire. Boom. Wow, dude, that was almost a one hit kill. Almost. Unfortunately, almost isn't good enough in this situation, and we died. Uh, but I think we would have died even if I had killed him, because I got shot from the left side, it seemed, right? So, there's a Rook. 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 Whatever you pronounce it. Somebody said I said it wrong. And now it's stuck in my head. Bam, 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 bam. Not bad damage, because he didn't have any physical shields on him at this point. I think he just dropped them. But if I were to fire at him now, he's got the physical shields back and I wouldn't deal any damage. Why? Because Thermite doesn't have splash damage. And I think they should have. It's a huge rocket launcher. Um, and the same as Vortex Therm uh, if it they should have splash damage. So that while you need to take down energy shields first, even blue shields, I think. Yeah. Um, at least you don't have to worry about the physical shields. That would be really fair because you have a long reload. You have um, you don't have very flexible flexible weapon damage, and you have only 350 meters range. These weapons by by no, are by no means overpowered in any way. Uh, they're really really not. And uh, to allow them to have sh uh, more perfect tracking abilities, which I think they should have, those are homing weapons, and uh, and spla splash damage. Maybe you would actually see thermite vortex and aphid from time to time in the battles. In the Champions League, I can tell you how many often, how, on one hand, how many how often I see this per week in the Champions League. The amount of fingers is how often. Zero, not once. No one runs it on the Champions League. You may, maybe you see it somewhere in lower leagues for fun, but. Um, you don't see it in the Champions League because it's it just sucks too much. But yeah, so that was an that was an interesting uh, damage output we just did to the Nether robot because I hit him with all four weapons simultaneously, and the Nether has this this initial resistance thing. Um, but somehow he still took like 50% damage from that hit. That was really not bad, or 40%. All right, that I think is a uh, Crisis robot. After one hit, he's down to last stand and restoring health uh, after. So let's go for another shot and boom. I don't know why he's uh, not stealth though. He wasn't firing and he was not stealthed. Was it maybe a behemoth? I don't know. It's, it had four heavy weapons. It looked like a crisis robot, but it didn't have stealth. Wow. Dude, that was... Wait a minute, you know what this is? This is a falcon robot in his resistant ability. Well, how did I just do this much damage to a falcon robot uh, that has 66% resistance? <laughs> Look at the behemoth! The behemoth just got eaten alive. And you can see this guy, he wants me. He's got 200 meters range on his sonic weapons. And he really, 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 really wants to kill me. Uh, but now I seem uh, a little bit too far away from him. Wow, man, the Ravana just took 70% instant damage to the face. Um, when he was looking away, he didn't anticipate that hit. Uh, and uh, that was nuts. I dropped him to last stand. Who knows how much damage it would have been if he hadn't activated his last stand there. 
So, we still have uh, a few more situations, or one more situation at the very least, coming up. Uh, no, it's two, I think. So, uh, let's go and... Yeah, boom! Bye-bye, Typhon. Oh, man, I love it. Unfortunately, I'm not stealth right now. Uh, now I am. He's going behind cover. I dropped him really far. It wasn't a, uh, I think he doesn't have his last stand activated. And look, even though I have last stand, I lost just two, ma two of my heavy weapons. It, it happens so often with um, with the crisis robot that you go low health and you lose all your weapons. Um, I don't know, a pilot ability to prevent weapon loss would be really, really good. Um, I, would, I would equip that. Look. I actually hit him. I, I don't know why I did, but um, I actually hit him there. Uh, very often, or in most situations, the thermite would have missed there, but somehow it scored a good hit. And this guy, boots! There you go, buddy. You thought you were safe just because you're standing behind a wall? It's not how it works, my friend. Not with thermite. So that guy, uh, you know what? Let's not leave our stealth ability. I think everybody is waiting for me to exit stealth so that they can kill me. So I'm just gonna s remain stealth for now. Wait for the right time. Here, that for example is good. Fire and boom! That's 20% damage against a uh, Sharenga Titan from one shot. That's not bad, man. It really not. Fire again and boom! This time it was only like 10%. Maybe it's because I didn't have the unstable improved damage thing going. Let's activate both together. Actually, wait, I didn't activate any of them. Okay. Uh, behind me is, I think, is an enemy titan, but I just want to get this kill, so BAM BAM! Ah, it wasn't a kill, but it was almost a kill. Anyways, ladies and gents, Thermite Crisis, definitely something I needed to make a video about. What do you think? It's gonna be fun on the live server. Um, however, I think that Pixonic needs to do a few things to make the Thermite really, and Vortex and Aphid, a little more attractive again, because they really, really suffer these days. But yeah, thanks for watching, have a good one, Mani signing off. Bye-bye.